If you're a triathlete and you suffer from knee pain, uh, we want to give you some at work or in office exercises you can do with minimal equipment to help you uh, deal with some of those symptoms. If you saw our video last week, we talked about some of the common ailments that a triathlete might, or anybody in particular, uh, might suffer from uh, when it comes to knee pain. Today, I want to go over a few, two in particular, exercises that you could take I'm home. I'm the preceptor. My name is Lizzie, and I'm going to show you a couple at home exercises and in office exercises that we do here for this runner's knee. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna look and have the patient put their leg up here. And these are just some extension exercises. A lot of times we get stuck in this flexed up position. So the first thing you can do just to see if you tolerate it is let your knee hang in extension here. No support underneath because we really wanna let it fall. If you tolerate that well, what we'll tell you to do is kind of put your hand on your quad here and just very lightly go into a little more extension there. Go ahead. So see how it's so light you can't even see that movement going on there. And then if you don't have the ability to sit down and do this, what we'll have you do is we can do this from a standing position. So for these standing ones, it's literally very simple. All you're going to do is the same thing we were doing with that overpressure before. You're just going to push your knee back into extension. A lot of times we say for extremities, it's a little bit more than the spine when we use this type of method. So we'll say maybe 15 reps, three sets, kind of see how you're feeling. So this next exercise we do, again, in office, and you can for sure do this at home. Our runners are usually, or any type of athlete, are usually pretty good about these movements. So we're going to start in this position here. Our back foot is loaded as well as our front foot. That's our main focus here. This is going to be our affected side is up. So all you're going to do is have a little table for support. And you're going to go straight up into the air, just a couple inches off the ground. And then you're going to slightly lean your body weight forward. That way we're loading that tendon up in the front there. A lot of times I tell people hold this for 15, 20 seconds and then for three or four sets. 